Hello Year 7, welcome back to your third music lesson. This is your third lesson on African djembe and it's also going to be a lesson on a thing called tambra which we'll talk about in a little bit. Before you get started, any videos you want to look at like previous lessons can be found on the school YouTube channel. Uh, this one's probably titled under something like Year 7 Music Lesson 3, uh, which you'll probably know if you're listening to this. Uh, when it comes to uploading work, upload to class charts, you can use a Word document, PowerPoint, you can screenshot your work, or you can take a picture of any written work and upload it. Your research project is due on the 12th of February. That means you have about three works to three weeks to get it finished, so keep adding to it, please. And then, as said before, if you've not completed any previous lessons, can you please make sure you do that, as it'll help you as we go along. For today's lesson, to understand timbre and its use when describing an instrument or song. So at the very least today, in the red box to the left, I'm expecting you to be able to describe what timbre is. Um, in the middle box, the yellow box, you should be able to identify and describe timbre, the timbre of different instruments. And at the very best, on the right in the green box, you are able to compare the timbre of contrasting songs and explain its effects, the effect of timbre on different songs. So what is timbre? Timbre is just a fancy way of saying sound. So when everyone says the timbre of something, they're pretty much saying how it sounds. Uh, different timbres, obviously, uh, are created by different instruments. So different instruments create different sounds, different timbres. So for example, an acoustic guitar has a twangy, ringing timbre. For your first task, for task one, I'd like to listen to these three instruments. One, a snare drum, two, a violin, and three, a harpsichord. As you listen to them, I'd like you to write down and describe the timbre, that's the sound, of each of these instruments and try and describe them like I did with the guitar. Uh, where might you also hear these instruments and what feelings does this instrument give you? Links to the instruments are below in the uh, notes section of this PowerPoint. For your second task, is about texture and timbre. So we did texture last week. If you haven't done the lesson, you need to go complete it so you understand what texture is. But for task two, I'd like you to listen to Blinding Lights by The Weeknd. You can listen to this on YouTube, Spotify, it does not matter. Once you've done this, I would like you to go listen to Julian Muller's cover of Blinding Lights, which can be found on YouTube. After listening to both versions of Blinding Lights, I would like you to compare the timbre and the texture of each song to each other. So how are they uh, similar maybe? How are they different? How do they use different textures and timbres to create different effects for the song? So you should give a written answer in the form of a paragraph for this, and you should be addressing terms such as thin or thick texture, like we talked about last week, uh, the instruments that you hear, so what instruments do you hear, and what are the timbres of them, and the emotional f effect of both songs because of the different textures, timbres, and uh, sort of how they join together to create the songs and how contrasting they are. Once you've done that, can you please continue with your djembe research project? Uh, the criteria and uh, examples can be found on class charts under homework, under research project, you know where it is by now. Uh, you should be completing slides five and six during this lesson, though it does not need to be uploaded yet. As you said, it needs to be uploaded by the 12th of February. 12th of February, so you've got about three weeks to complete to it, so please keep adding to it as we go along. Well done, hope you're all well. I'll see you next week.